everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey with Teaching Online with Kelsey. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, please make sure it's not the last time to hit that red subscription button down below and that little bell. So that way you are notified of when new videos come on my channel every week. And to also give this video a thumbs up because it does support me and this channel and it helps push this video in the algorithm to the right people that need to see this. This video today is brought to you by my YouTube memberships. This is where you can get one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me along with lesson plans, copyright free that you can get from me. You will see here how to sign up for those memberships down below. I would love to work with you soon. Now, what I'm about to actually dig into is going to serve a dual purpose. So whether you are a online teacher or even a brick and mortar teacher looking to find more interactive resources to use in your classes, or maybe you are a brick and mortar teacher or an online teacher and you are looking to open up a tpt store or maybe you already have a store and you're trying to find ways on how you can grow income in your tpt store so as you guessed by the title of this video i'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and what tpt has to offer which is called easel now easel is a resource that was created by tpt so that sellers or even teachers can use these resources that are interactive and engaging and they are self-grading and self-assessing and my impression of creating my first easel product for my TPT store has been positive so far. Now because I said there was a dual purpose for me to talk about like the, the teacher side of things on like how to use it for your lessons and then how TPT sellers could create activities for easel. I'm gonna to try to make sure there are chapters down below that will go over specifically what you are needing in terms of like for teaching lessons or if you're wanting to create easel products for yourself. So as you can see here, I have switched over to my computer where I have easel opened up and I have some activities that I've worked on and some that I've been published onto TPT. So if you are wanting to create your own interactive lessons to use in your classes, you're gonna to go to this top button here where it says create. Now, when you do create, you know, if you're not on the seller's side, you know, you are going to do the for my classroom. And the great thing about Easel is that you can create the activities that you want to use as part of your lessons, or you can do assessments where as you can see on here, it says build an auto graded quiz. So it can be self graded, it'll have instant feedback for your learners, and it just will save time on assessments that you may need for grading purposes if you're an in person teacher. So for the sake of this, we'll go to activity and we'll just take an open look into seeing you know, what it looks like when you open up easel and try to create something for the first time. So ideally you know you can upload files so if you already have slides that you've created on canva or google slides you can upload it onto here and then be able to upload more pictures that you can use for like drag and drop features or you can make something completely from scratch on easel if you so desire so what we'll do just for the sake of the lesson we're going to upload some files and just let you see what that looks like and I will show you what it looks like to open up the music lessons that I have for Chrome Music Lab. So what that will look like. So that will be, da -da -da -da. let's just open this and it'll say import pages. Now you do not have to do one page at a time. Obviously for time's sake, you would have you know multiple pages that you would be able to save open up zip files be able to attach all of those copy all of those and be able to import them so once you have all of those pages you'll have clear create you'll give them town to download and then you will see something like this on the screen for your slides so like i said for the sake of the video i'm just gonna do one slide here <laughs> so and then you'll be able, everything is saved automatically. So the moment you put in, you know, your title. So we'll just put in 
lesson sample. All right, so we got lesson sample. Now let's just say, you know, you can input extra text if you want. You can say, hey there. So again, example, you can add text, but what you're also able to see is you're able to do drag and drop features. You're able to do multiple choice, or you can add a link to the text if you want to. So there are many options there for that. And then you have a pen, you also have a highlight. So that way you have whiteboard features live in the classroom if you want. And then you can also import images. And thankfully for Easel, if you upload images, there is no way for the learners to, you know, take it, delete it, make it as their own. Like whatever you make on here for Easel is gonna be your intellectual property. It cannot be manipulated by the students. So thank goodness for that. So you would be able to download your images as so. Like I said, this is great if you have like special fonts or special pictures that you want learners to use for drag and drops, multiple choice, etc. So we also have, if you are a premium seller on TPT, you do have the option to upload or record voice audio. So if you're making like reading lessons or if you're using something where it requires sounds like phonetics or phonics. So those types of features for the audio are really, really beneficial. So you can record it right on the spot or you can upload an audio if you did it pre, you know, before creating the course. Again, that's up to you. Just make sure that if you do audio, it's only MP3, MP4, or M4A format. Now, the shapes, as you see here, this is where you'll be able to create the drag and drop features. So let's just say I have this and I want to add the text. So, and when you have, when you are a premium seller, you'll have loads of uh, font opportunities and extra features that regular sellers do not have. So let's just say I have this and I have the answer here. You're gonna click on this button here that says drag and drop. And then you are going to say movable or drop zone. So if we wanna move this D over here, we're gonna say drop zone. And then for this D, we're gonna go and do drag and drop here again, movable, drop zone one. And when you do view as a student, you'll be able to see and check, you know, is this what I want them to do? And this is where it has the self, you know, correcting the, the self-guided, you know, grading. And I just think that's just really cool about easel. Now, how you do assign things, you'll just press this assign button. And what you'll do, you'll press it again. And then this is great, especially for out school teachers where, you know, we have the third party things going on. So we can share it on Google Classroom, which Google Classroom is an approved out school third party resource that you can use on the platform. And you can share it on Google or you can generate a link if you are an in-person teacher and you do have a store connected to your TPT account. So you can generate that link as well. But sharing on the Google Classroom is the feature that I most definitely recommend. Um, when students do click in the Google Classroom that link to the easel activity, all the learners have to do is verify their email and then share the name so that way you know which students are taking the easel activities or the easel assessments and that, that's how they get in. That's how they're going to be able to get into the activities. Of course, on Easel, there is a certification process so that way you can be a certified Easel seller. And, and it's, it's a great certification process because it helps you go way more in depth on how to use Easel and use more of the features that I really didn't get a chance to talk about on there. But I highly recommend taking that course so that way you know fully in detail how Easel works and how it can be beneficial for your classroom. And so now we're gonna be moving on to the seller side of things. 
and I haven't really talked a whole lot on my channel for 2023 about how I am trying to scale a lot of my passive income and the first stream of passive in income that I'm going to put a lot of focus in is actually going to be my TPT store. I have noticed um, from the progress that I made last year as compared to previous years when I opened up my TPT store, I am seeing an increase in my sales. And when I did become a premium seller for TPT, I realized that not only did I cover the fee that I paid for for a whole year membership to TPT, but I also earned more money in the process as well. And as we are seeing more interactive lessons and more online teaching platforms and more opportunities for learners to learn online, now is the time more than ever to actually get involved into Easel. And if you already have TPT products or if you're thinking about offering uh, interactive activities to use in your in the classes or you want other teachers to use your resources like say for curriculum writing then easel is going to be your best friend in terms of creating those resources for other teachers because i'm going to be seeing and i think you will too i think we're going to be seeing a really big trend in teachers looking up interactive resources because you know i'm not saying worksheets are not great i just feel like because so many learners are having to use technology in their classrooms or in online lessons that teachers are going to take up the opportunity to use technology to their advantage and now that we've gotten the panini out of the way we're mostly out of the woods i think i don't know but since we are in that postseason, we now have an opportunity to really learn and utilize the technology that is in front of us. So if you are thinking about opening up a TPT store, I definitely recommend looking into creating resources with Easel, becoming that certified Easel uh, seller and being able to understand how Easel works and be able to offer those resources to offer to other teachers that can be beneficial for their classes, you know, regardless if they're online or if they're in the classroom. Obviously, TPT is going to be the marketplace to support other teachers and to help save time for teachers' lessons. And I would have to say, overall, my experience in learning about TPT's easel is that I really enjoy what they have to offer, and I really, really like that there's so many options for making any lesson interactive, including my Pro Music Lab lesson that I just created. And I'm actually going to be attaching my Pro Music Lab easel lesson into a YouTube video lesson that I'm going to be releasing soon because the Pro Music Lab side of my viewers have requested, hmm, maybe I do actually want to learn some music theory using Chrome Music Lab. And, you know, sure, should I offer it on out school or all school? I could, you know, I really could, you know, but since I am being monetized on my YouTube channel, I probably will have more eyes, more viewers, and I also want to be able to reach out further and provide education for all walks of life essentially but that's not to say like i'm only using easel to write pro music lab lessons part of my other life journey is that many of you especially who work for all school or out school do not have the time to write lessons so many of you are thinking hmm should i go on third-party platforms and so many lessons are limited to what i can teach or could I reach out to someone who could write custom lessons for me that I can teach and maybe even create thumbnails for my classes or edit my video to where it looks really nice for families to enroll in my classes? You know what? I'm your gal to help you out. And I can even make them easel resources that you can use in your lessons so that way you have a great class and everyone's engaged and everyone has fun with the lesson. 
Now, of course, if you have any other questions for me or you're curious about easel a little more or you want me to do another video like more in depth, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I love to have healthy discussions with you. So I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching.